A new Anglo-French alliance is launched today by one of President Macron's deputies. Now, it's not military, it's not economic, it is mathematical. Linking Imperial College London with the French National Centre for Scientific Research, or CRNS as it is known. Joining us to discuss that is the man who has been described as the Lady Gaga of French mathematics, Cédric Villani, who specialises, but don't worry, we won't ask it him about this, in partial differential equations. He also happens to be a member of parliament for the President's party. On Marsh, good morning to you. OK, hello. Uh, in the studio here is Professor Richard Craster, who is Professor of Applied Mathematics at Imperial and will be the first director of the new Joint Research Unit. Cedric Villani, just tell us why we should be excited by maths, first of all, why we should regard this new institute as something to be excited about. OK. I think that uh, mathematics is currently a very, very exciting topic. First, because uh, it has acquired recently a number, a wealth of uh, applications and new use in uh, uh, everyday life or in very complex matters, but also because it has uh, been now uh, at the center of uh, new points of views about science, about culture and so on. Uh, and it's... Uh, very exciting also, if I may say that this is a French-British uh, uh, collaboration which is starting on this subject. These are two nations which uh, boast a great record in the subject. France is very proud of uh, its uh, mathematicians, but also we know that UK, for instance, was uh, one of the countries in which a decisive mathematical battle occurred that was at the uh, Second World War. And uh, if it had not been uh, won by the uh, British mathematicians, things could have gone very differently. Yes, the code breakers of Bletchley. But why are you bringing French mathematicians over to London? What's the value for them? Mm. Uh, we have a lot uh, to obtain in the collaboration, in the uh, exchange. In particular, uh, so for instance, take the, one of the areas that is uh, most hot currently, uh, the uh, artificial uh, intelligence. Very hot because it has a number of uh, applications and because it is very pervasive. I've been on a mission by the government to help drafting the French uh, strategy for artificial intelligence. It's a subject in which UK has been uh, ahead of the continental Europe in the past few years in terms of defining agenda and policy and it will be very instructive to complement and uh, uh, discuss with the different points of view. This is an area which splits into many different subspecialties. Yeah, let and, me bring uh, in the director of the new research unit which will bring together French and British mathematicians, Professor Richard Christer. Um, what is the excitement for you of this project? I think it's... Um, well, it's going to be enormously exciting for us because we will be able to access the facilities and the scientists in the CNRS. I think there are 4,000 professional mathematicians, 11,000 scientists. It's one of the, Europe's largest research organisations and we will be able to facilitate easy visits backwards and forwards between us and them. And you think being together will just produce innovation, will produce new ideas? I, well, we've actually been doing that over the last few years. We've we've had a long-standing collaboration with them. I, uh, we've written more than two, I think, two thousand seven hundred papers between Imperial College and the CNRS over the last five years. And there's it's a, a real dynamic. chance. Is there, Cedric Villani, for this to continue post Brexit? Because you know there have been real anxieties in the academic community that Brexit would somehow erect new barriers. That is our. That is one of our major goals. You see. Uh, whatever comes Brexit, no Brexit, whatever, it is in the best interest of both uh, France and UK that the scientific collaboration continues and is reinforced. And uh, CNRS has this uh, policy of, uh, and France has this policy of making new institutional cooperations, agreements in bilateral, uh, systematically to help uh, making these collaborations You're increase because Professor they are Craig. so important. Yeah, yeah very much um was it T times of uncertainty don't mean times of stagnation you know we should carry on doing what we do which is working with the best people in the world and if the best people in the world happen to be in france then we should work with them now we set you both a bit of a test this morning right. we had a particularly <laughs> difficult and long-winded quiz question or puzzle yesterday which i'm going to read as fast as i can but we gave it to you just before coming on air to see if you could solve it this was yesterday's puzzle 13 motors do that oh. before you do that have I you did. solved it? Yes, I got it. 
But go on, carry on. I just want to say that. Phew. You write it down <laughs> there so we can yep. see whether yep. we actually yep. did before they give the answer. Do you believe him? Not sure. Here we are. Here was the question. 13 Rotters stole my answer and they rotated it, but crucially the rotated is spelt capital R-O-T. They rotated it by four and then they rotated it, capital R-O-T again, by ten. And all I have left is this very long list of letters. U-C-C-R-Z-I-Q-Y-H-C-O-Z-Z-Q-M-P-S-F-T-W-F-G-H-U-W-F-Z-G. Z-G, exclamation mark. Can you help me get my answer back, Professor Craster? Yep. Uh, good luck to all Cyber First girls. How? Well, let's ask Cedric Villani. You got the same answer, I assume. Yeah, I got the same answer. And it's just just for those of us whose for, uh, heads for, uh, explode even here again, how? How do you begin to get the answer? Oh, you know, it may be very seem very complicated uh, for if you're not familiar with it but I'd say a kid who's interested you know one of these uh, young geeks who's uh, interested in cyber and so on uh, on in uh, ciphering sorry and so on uh, will get the answer in a few minutes Professor Richard Christa, Cedric Villani, thank you very much indeed. The man who says it's easy, who after all got an award for proofs of non-Lydia Landau damping and convergence to equilibrium for the Boltzmann equation, <laughs> which presumably you could have done as well. Oh, oh God. Um, <laughs> confession time. I got this morning's right, not yesterday. Oh, I see. Yeah, oh. Yeah. Sorry about that. That was an easy one. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs>